I'm not sure I'd let my son drive a Tesla. I mean, he's a great driver. I, I love him to death, but even a rinky-dink accident in a high school parking lot, you're talking a lot of money to get that replaced. Welcome back to Marcus at Work Media. So America's favorite EV brand, Tesla, is having a, a rough go of it, shall we say, these days. Let's get into some of the details on what's really going on in the latest news. And you tell me, what do you think about all of this? Many Teslas won't charge because it's too cold. Drivers are complaining the charging stations are not working in the bitter temperatures. Some people were even forced to abandon their vehicles. Former employees of Tesla are suing the company for laying off hundreds of workers without advance notice. The two former workers who filed the suit said they were terminated from Tesla's Gigafactory plant in Sparks, Nevada in June, along with over 500 others, and that the terminations were, quote, effective immediately. Hey, Craig, unfair to you, but let's try to go there. What's a new Tesla cost? What's a used Tesla cost now? And what's it going to cost in 90 days? Yeah, I, th I think if we think about, you know, the cheapest Tesla you can get your hands on, right, a, a Model 3. I mean, this is a car that, you know, was supposed to, out of the gate, you know, cost $35,000. Uh, and that moved down dramatically last year. This, this is a company that, you know, just repeatedly was cutting price yeah. to try and, you know, keep growth going. Uh, you know, rental companies uh, gripe about, you know, what the price cuts have done, uh, right. you know, from a depreciation standpoint for their fleet. Now, there's a few things I wanted to address about the Tesla situation. So in 2022, they had some massive layoffs going on, right? Fast forward past the pandemic, all of that. They doing fairly OK. Their stock went up when they announced that Hertz was purchasing 100,000 vehicles from Tesla for their rental car fleet. A Tesla stock went up. Hertz stock went up and then fast forward until to recently, Hertz is now selling over 20,000 of the EVs because they've ran the numbers, they tried to program and they're losing stupid amount of money. They're losing money from the hidden costs. People think that EVs are saving so much money from not dealing with gas and standard repairs, oil changes, so on and so forth, but they're not calculating the hidden costs if they have to replace the battery, if they gotta fix any of the sensors, and also insurance costs. A lot of insurance policies are not even going to write you a policy for EVs, specifically Teslas, simply because it's so expensive to replace. They rather total the car then try to replace some of the tesla models simply because it's so expensive no 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 wait 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 can you tell me something that the insurance people have said to you that does not bode well for the tesla owner yeah it's going to be expensive to insure at our request cook quoted insurance rates for a number of popular vehicles on the road today and at $7,417 for the year, the 2023 Tesla Model X is $1,100 more expensive than number two on his list, the 2023 Ford Escape. Now, another issue I've seen in the news, and it may be something a little, a little separate from the actual company issues, but it may be, you tell me, right? So there was a gentleman that purchased a, a Tesla from the app, he put in his ID, he put in all his information, he put down a deposit in the app, chose the dealership, and once he picked up the vehicle, the dealership discovered like, hey, this is a fake ID, and this payment did not come through. So the guy still made off with a $100,000 Tesla, and he would have got away, except he went back to try to get another one, because I mean, if he had got the first $100,000 Tesla, why not double up? When he went back, then he got caught because they remembered that transaction with his friend, right? Fayetteville police say back in December, Fowd Kimmel used the Tesla app to order a new car from this dealership on State Road 85 in Fayette County. Police say he took delivery, and afterwards, the company realized he had allegedly swindled them. The, the way the process works with the Tesla app, they you're able to input your photo ID and submit payment to either purchase the vehicle entirely or to, to give a deposit. After you've completed that process, you go to the dealership, present that same ID, and then you receive your vehicle. 
he, he did all that using a fake ID. They give him the vehicle. After he receives the vehicle, they determined that the, the ACH transfer that was used to purchase the vehicle was indeed fraudulent. So it's a hiccup in the app that allowed this man to fraudulently purchase a Tesla, $100,000 Tesla, and not pay for it on a fake ID because of the Tesla purchasing process, which is another company flaw or issue that needs to be corrected. Listen, I never bought into the EV crave to begin with. I get that they're trying to make everything more green, emissions free, I, I get all of that, right? But I don't think the way EV is currently set up that it is the savior that people are selling it to be because you still got to plug it in. It's still going to run up your power bill. And if you do the supercharge, it's difficult to find a superstar station because a lot of charging stations for EVs are not supercharged stations. And if you got to wait on one, often the lines are super, super long assuming that it's working properly and it's not down. So there's other complications that come into play with an EV other than what everybody is saying. So what are your thoughts about all of this? Am I off with my assessment of EVs and Tesla and everything is gonna be fine and you're just a Tesla fan and you're a part of the Tesla community? Rah, rah, put your thoughts below. Let me know what you think. This is Marcus at Work Media and I'm out this bitch.